Now, let's, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not trying to burn down a hotel like a Prince Lord. It's Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Clean Chypre? Chypre. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to say that word. Bulgur, Bulgur, jeez. Bulgur, ah! Yes, yes, yes! Oh. What up, Bhagwan? It's just saying, it's your girl, Minadabia, and in this video, we are gonna go over everything that your girl picked up during the Sephora Spring Savings event. Honey, listen, your girl raked up, and I'm excited to show you what I got. I wanna let you know that part of this video is sponsored by Magic Links, so thank you to Magic Links for sponsoring, and we're gonna just get into the video. Now, before we get started, though, I wanna make sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube and over on IG, and also on TikTok, because your girl is doing a little something on the tickety -tick. Tick tock, click click, you know what I'm saying? And also make sure you comment. I wanna know if you picked up any of the things that I picked up. If you have yet to shop, let me know. If you already did, if you're loving what you got, let me know as well. Also, I did a video before this one about the sale where I recommended a bunch of options to you. So if you still wanna figure out what to buy outside of this video, make sure you watch that one. And now we can actually get started on this video. Okay, so everything was up in here, but you know me, I had to rip this thing open and just really get to it. So I have taken everything out and it's here on the table. So let's just go over all of it. Okay, so first is makeup, all right? Let's talk about what I got for makeup. Now, not everything is here. In fact, I had a package delivered. Hold on, it might be at the door. Hold on a second. Oh my God, literally, no lies. It was at the door. Ah! I'm still missing a few things, but let's go over what I got. Okay, so I just unboxed the two candles. So this is the Forever Mood. And this always confuses me because it says Send Moods on it, but that's the name of the candle, Obvi. This one is Grown Folks Business. I already have one of these, but girl, you gotta just stock up on what's really good. So I picked up Grown Folks Business. Oh, I haven't even opened this and I can already smell it. Wow, it's cinnamon amazingness. Oh my God. Oh! The boxes themselves are divine and just gorgeous. So well done. Makes you not even want to open it up because it just looks so good. Then I also got We Not Lincoln, honey. Okay, We Not Lincoln's right here. If you have gotten any of the Forever Mood candles, ooh, I just got a whiff. Wow. Yeah, I like grown folks business more, but I got both of them. I mean, what? We not Lincoln and grown folks business. So good. I don't even want to burn these. They just look, look at that. They just look so cute and sexy. Ugh. Okay, now let's go into makeup, excuse me. First, I picked up another one of these one size, turn up the base, versatile foundation powder. Love this so much because, in fact, it's what I have on right now in today's makeup look. I use it as my face powder to go over everything just brings it all together no must no fuss I know for some reason it wasn't on the site I guess it was sold out this particular color which is strange I love how dark it is I love that it's golden it doesn't look like a color that would match me but it definitely does and it just looks so gorgeous I just hate that sometimes it's not in stock which is just strange right really really good I also got another one of these milk makeup color chalk and this is the color hopscotch what I love about this is I take my small brush and I put it in my inner eye. Now I wanted this for the bathroom makeup kit that I have. And then I realized I actually need two of these because I wanna put one in my travel suitcase makeup kit because I like for the inner eye highlight to be a silvery gold, really bright and light. This color is perfect for it. I've used this several times. Now I'm gonna use it more often because now I have three of these, right? One in my kit that's here in the studio, one in the bathroom kit, and one when I am traveling. On my skin, it just looks so good right there in the inner eye. You, you need to try this. It's really, really good. Now you you also know I had to pick up another one of these Lawless One and Done mascaras, okay? Because of all the mascaras that I have tried thus far, this is the absolute perfect one for me. I have it on today. It gives you that nice clump on the bottom lash, but it's not overdone. It's not hideous, it's not messy. It's just the way that I like it. I don't like for bottom lashes to be 
thin. I like for this to be chunky, but in a good way. So not gunky and gross. I'm not trying to get skunk eye, but I also want to make sure that my bottom lashes are popping and they have become volumized, thick, all the things. And this is great. What I love about this is that you don't have to use it a million times before it gets thick. It's just out the gate thick. You know, there's some mascaras where after you've used it for several weeks and it's got all that air in it, it starts to get thick and then it gives you the thickness that you want when you apply it. No, 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 no. This one is great right out the gate. So if you like your bottom lashes to look like mine, then this is definitely one you wanna get. So moving on to body, right? In my recommendation video, I talked about the 54 Thrones shea butter situation. And I already have one of these, but you can never have too much because what we're not going to do is have ashy skin in any part of our body. You know what I'm saying? So you have ashy elbows, knees, feet. First of all, you need to exfoliate. That's number one, okay? Because sometimes the ash is compounded on itself because you have the dry, dead skin sitting on that. Exfoliate and then go ahead and apply some African shea butter. I love these because they smell divine. The fragrance in these are overloaded like intoxicating fragrances and the shine is out of this world so i got the trio they do have the full size versions but i like how cute and small these are they go in my purse easily no matter where i am a little bit of this stuff goes a very long way and to me this is not expensive some people in the reviews think it is expensive but this is raw african shea butter like do you want to be dry or do you want to be moisturized like which one do you want do you want to be ashed or do you want to be greased this is definitely gonna give you the grease. Us Africans, maybe if you're Caribbean or from wherever else, comment and let me know. We appreciate the shine. I wanna be shiny on my body. I don't wanna have dull looking skin. I want the shine. And this is gonna give it to me every single time, believe that. Now, another product that's gonna give the shine too is this Fenty Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. I had this when it was sent to me in PR, I believe, and I enjoyed it. Now, the thing about this, and I also like the one from Josie Mirror, I almost got that one too, but I got this one instead because it leaves an oil behind. It's whipped oil. And if you are like me and you grew up putting on baby oil, you know what I'm saying, out of the shower, that's an old school hack. You feel what I'm saying? In the summertime, then you know the value of having shiny skin. Black people don't want to have dull skin. You know what I'm saying. Comment and agree because you know what I'm talking about. I love for there to be a shine left over after I've moisturized. And I remember this one leaving that shine on my body. And I loved it a lot. You know, because you can, you can, of course, put on a body cream, put an oil on top. Top, but I just didn't feel like doing that and I wanted to re-up on this because I did enjoy this a lot. So I got another one, I like it. If you try this and you like it, comment and let me know. Another body product that I got was this Necessaire Body Serum. I have had this in the past. In fact, it was in my travel suitcase and it ran out. It is so good. I did not mean to get the fragrance free one. I could have sworn I chose eucalyptus or bergamot, but whatever, it's here, it's fine. I always OD on fragrances outside of my body stuff. Like for instance, I can put a fragrant body cream on top and fragrance like itself, you know, I have the Sal Janeiro body sprays, all the things, but it came, I'm not gonna return it, I'll just keep it. This is the Necessaire, the body serum, and it's hyaluronic acid, so it hydrates, replenishes, and plumps the skin. This is fantastic to use, especially since we're now getting into the cooler weather. So I can see myself putting this on right out of the shower and then maybe a light lotion but here's the thing though I have dry skin and it's year-round so I still see myself lathering up with a cream and of course letting my skin dry <laughs> before getting ready because if you know you know you know what it's like when you like freshly out of the shower freshly moisturize your body and you're sweating the whole time you're getting ready and then you're putting your outfit on you're out the door just mad hot it can just be so annoying so I'm gonna finagle it but I still value moisture even in the summertime okay I still value moisture I value moisture all year round and these two are definitely gonna get some use especially since this is a hyaluronic acid serum for the body okay but you put hyaluronic acid on your face or your skin before you apply your moisturizer it aids in the absorption of the product and also gives you more hydration for your skin so why not hello baby I also picked up the necessaire deodorant gel here's the thing we've talked about killing the bacteria underneath the layer of the skin by using a BHA, right? If 
you watched the other video where I gave recommendations for the Sephora sale, then you already know what I'm talking about. If you see my vlogs, you've heard me talk about this, okay? We've been here, we've done all of that. And this is a new product from Necessaire, the deodorant gel for your body, multi-acid, is deodorized, protect, and comfort. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought she had BHA in it. Uh, I guess I'm wrong. I misunderstood, <laughs> but that doesn't mean that we can't find use in her. We'll still kill the bacteria with our first A Beauty ingrown hair pads, right? Under the armpits, in the groin, that we already discussed the front and the back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like when I do that, the front and the back. I don't know, it's in my front, my back. <laughs> Y'all be playing games, but you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean when I do that. <laughs> so don't, don't get dumb, <laughs> don't get dumb. Okay, wait, it does have some exfoliating properties to it. It has mandelic acid. Acid, lactic acid, witch hazel water. It has no aluminum, no baking soda, no parabens. Yes. And it smells like eucalyptus, apparently. Let's see, it's a glass. Very nice. Okay, it's light scent. Let me roll it and get the juice, you know, the liquid. Okay, yes. Oh, yes. If you're, if you're, so we are gonna need, I'm not so we any, any kind of African, West African, maybe Caribbean too. I don't know all the different cultures. Hi. But then you know, sure. Okay, sure. The roll on. <laughs> I love that. From London, from UK. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> If you from UK, let me know. I love the Shure Roll-On. First of all, it's very alcoholic. It's, it has a lot of alcohol in it. And if you shave and then use it, you're gonna burn. I don't know if this is gonna do the same thing, but I just like, it's nostalgic for me because that Shure, that Shure Roll-On is also a glass and it's a roll-on and it has a very strong scent. This one smells really, really good. So already I'm in love with this, although obviously I haven't used it, but I believe it's going to also help treat the skin under the armpits as well. I'm gonna keep posting on this because I am definitely looking forward to it. Okay, I'm gonna link this wig for you below because I know you all are probably gagging over this. And I'll link this two-piece outfit also from Pretty Little Thing. It's a pants set that I've had for some time now. Let's talk about hair really fast because one of the products that I'm gonna be trying out from Sephora is this one from IGK. It's called the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. And this is a good product that is it's a leave-in conditioner that won't weigh the hair down. It's good for dry, coarse, frizzy hair. So it has coconut oil in it, and I can see myself using this on my natural hair and on my wigs, honey, because the wigs also need hydration. Hello, we don't want any frizz there or on the actual hair. I love a good leave-in conditioner because you know, I do a lot of co-washes, okay? So I wash my hair with conditioner all the time, several times a week, and I shampoo once a month, and it's a product like this or other leave-in products that I put in to keep, help seal in the hydration, maintain the moisture of my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. So definitely gonna be trying this one out. I think this is a new brand at Sephora. Yeah. Before I go on to fragrance, and I have so many new ones, girl. I cannot forget about the Forever Mood candle set that I got also, okay? So we have Caked Up, Left on Red, Matcha Business, and Cuffing Season. Baby, I love all of these. I just love how cute these are. I think you call these votive candles. I think they're great, I can't lie. I like to light a candle in my hotel room when I travel, so I see myself taking a little small one of these, lighting it while I'm getting ready, blowing it out before I walk away. I be like, I'm not trying to burn down a hotel like a prison lord. You know what I'm saying? But you know, pack a little small lighter. You know what I'm saying? And just set the ambiance while away. You know, it just feels good. Or using it here in my studio because although these are really small, they are strong and they will permeate the room in 2.2 seconds. So I just had to get this because it's just such a cute set. And this is actually a really great set as a gift. You see what I'm saying? Y'all have some birthdays coming up. Mother's Day's coming around, wrap this up in a bow. This to me is a beautiful Mother's Day gift and I am a mother, you know, and I can never have too many candles. If anyone's ever feeling, you know, generous in any way, my <laughs> mailing address is always, you know, it's one of those things that's just always constant. Yeah, a constant, he's, he's con the Lord is constant, right? And my address, my mailing address is also constant. Noth it, it never changes. You know, the Lord, our God Almighty, he also never changes. But I, I wanna add on to that, that my address, the place where I get mail, you know, it's always in my description box. I don't ever want you to forget that. So in case you are just wanting to, just to send someone a, a Mother's Day gift, I am a mother. So feel free to take a look at that description box and take note of that address. I do already have one of these. I take, I take anything really nice things. 
Speaking of nice things, let's talk about the one, two, three, four, five fragrances that I picked up. <laughs> Girl, let's start off with Lancome Edo, baby. And we learned recently, cause you know when we learn, we share, okay? We learned recently that it's not Eau de Parfum, ghetto, <laughs> uncouth. Not me, you know, not any longer. It's Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum. Parfum. You know, the more you know. So this is Lancome Idol Le Parfum. I saw it on social and I feel like somebody told me that I would like it. And I was like, really? Cause I love La Vie et Belle. I'll link her below as well. I'll link all the stuff below. I love La Vie et Belle. So I said, wait a minute. Why, why would I want to get something different? I've already decided which Lancome fragrance I would like, you know? And I kept it in mind and I saw this in Duty Free. I can't remember if it was Dubai or if it was Paris, you know? I did see it and I sniffed and I said, wow, the Lord is worthy. He really and truly is. So I gave it a sniff and I said, my God, you are wonderful. You are excellent, you know? And this is so good. So we're gonna just spray the box. I do that often, okay? Let's go ahead and spray the box. Give it a shake. I could take out my professional strips, but why? Mmm, it's like this pear in here. Let's see, hold on. Classic floral. It's got spotless jasmine absolute, radical rose essence, and clean chypre. Chypre? <laughs> oh, I don't know how to say that word. This is very lovely, yes. It's a floral and I love floral. I love classic floral. I love warm floral. I love fruity floral. I love a good floral, okay? So we do have this one and I feel like this is the world's skinniest perfume bottle. I could be wrong, but I feel like I also saw that somewhere. Look at this. Although this is big, this is a 1.7, but just look, it's just so cute. It's not short and stout. It's just so tall and sexy. Oh my God, I love it. And it has a little extra, at the bottom, so it does stand up. I thought it wasn't gonna stand up. I thought it had to lay down. No, she will stand up. This is beautiful. If you have this or have smelled it and or like or love it, I wanna know. Comment and let me know. Oh my God. So another fragrance, girl. This is my third Tom Ford fragrance. So you know that recently I went to LA for an event with Tom Ford Beauty, which I was so grateful for. Never ever will I forget that event in my life. And they gifted me with a fragrance, Tom Ford Rose de Chine. So amazing, right? And I obviously was able to sniff this one, which is Rose Prick, and then the other one, which was Rose Demalfi. But that one was sold out before Friday came around. I was like, how y'all gonna do that? You know the sale is Friday. Why you Why you only have a few in stock? You know, it kept telling me if five left in stock. Well, that is a problem because the sale starts Friday. So why couldn't y'all hold a few? Like, ugh, gross. You know something? <laughs> so this is a warm floral, okay? It has Rose Demai, Bulgarian Rose, baby, and Sichuan Pepper. Wait a minute. Now my friend Alan from the Town 4 Beauty team in New York, well, he was just so sweet by the way. He was, you know, explaining all of it to me and he mentioned pepper, but I don't remember him saying Sichuan. That just reminds me of food. I had to get it. Right away, I was sitting there, I was like putting that in my shopping cart ASAP. So I got the one fluid ounce. Oh my gosh, let me spray it again because I need a reminder about how amazing this is. Oh, oh my God. And if you're gonna spend on Town 4 Beauty, honey, you need to make sure you get it on the sale. <laughs> unless you boil it. Yes, I can smell the pepper. It's very unique. It's spicy, it's beautiful, it's sexy. Just yes is all I can say. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Just yes. Moving on because we got three more to go through, honey. I purchased this one off of just hearing about it all over the internet. You see what I'm saying? Like so many people talking about this. I've never smelled it. It had five stars. So I assumed it's gonna be fantastic. This is the Seven Virtues Lotus Pear. If you've tried this, comment and let me know. I'm about to smell it right now for the first time. Okay, so it has pear, lotus flower, and gardenia in it. Okay, let's give it a first sniff. I hope I like it. Oh my God. Okay, it smells like alcohol. Oh, I gotta wait a second. It's like really like alcohol. Like, wow, did I spray too much? I like it. I had to, I, I just had to go really close. It's like really alcohol in the beginning. Why is it doing that? <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Okay. I like it. I'm annoyed. I want to scream and love it. I like that it's a pear. I feel like this is going to be one that I just need to smell my body. And right now I'm wearing Killian Princess. Yeah. So I don't want to mix this with it. I do like it. I just have to get really close to the box to smell it. And it was very alcohol in the beginning. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to like, I don't want to turn y'all off a little bit. Y'all might, might like it. Comment and let me know if you like, love, or hate this. I want to know. I am excited to put it on my body. Now, this one from Ellis 
Brooklyn listen so Ellis Brooklyn did they send me the library or did I purchase it I can't remember but I had it in the library so the small samples of these right and five days ago I started using this sample of this and I felt in freaking love okay so this one I have already smelled and I loved it so much that I was like oh I I had to put in my cart so it's a fresh solar which I've never heard of the scent type is fresh solar and it has lang lang okay I want to say it's how you say it Tahitian TR see a oh god I need someone to tell me how to say this and amber amber grease my god you know there's just certain things like metal how much you try you still won't be ghetto you know what I'm saying you still just you still gonna just, just be a little ghetto okay so let's spray this again and get another mindset because I was I wore her out I wore the sample out because it's so good yes 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 oh this is good, baby. This is slap you in the face fresh. It is so fresh, so sweet, so amazing. Speaking of sweet, yes, that is missing. I also picked up Ellis Brooklyn Sweet. <laughs> I had that sample and I was like, wait, this is a different kind of sweet. It was sweet, but it had a twist to it. It is so good. I finished both of these samples in a few days and I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting both of them. You need this for the summertime. My God, today, this is good. Ellis Brooklyn, what y'all doing? What y'all doing for real? Are y'all sending me one on the way? I don't mind extras. I already bought these, but I don't mind extras. I love a good backup. You know what I'm saying? And I also picked up Ellis Brooklyn Myth because in the library set that I've tried out, I was like, ah, oh, note to self. I like Myth also. I like a lot of theirs because a part of my April fragrances I'm looking at them right now, I love Sun Fruit. I've got B, Ellis Brooklyn B. We discussed that last year. And then I have these three. Sweet is not here yet, but it'll be here. I don't love and what they're doing my goodness okay so like myth is not giving me what i thought it was gonna give i remember distinctly liking this because whatever i like i put in my wish list and then i purchase when i'm ready but right now as i smell it i'm not i'm not like falling over in my chair like i normally am right oh my god uh, did i make a mistake <laughs> how could this be i mean i like it but it's Softer than I remember. I know Andrew Renee always talks about Fable, but Fable wasn't my favorite. Oh, it's sheer. That's why it's so soft, but it is warm and spicy. The scent type is warm and sheer. It does feel very soft. Like this one has ambrette seeds, jasmine petals, and musk. Okay, I don't know. I liked the sample, maybe on my skin. Like I know I'll like Lotus Pear on my skin because it's sweet and I like it. So that I'm not, I'm gonna keep. But this one, I don't know what's going on. I don't love it. I I don't know what happened. I don't love it. Okay, I'm gonna exchange this because I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, everything else was a hit, obviously. I hope that you enjoyed the video, finding out what I purchased. Sweet is still on its way, and I can't remember what else, but I will share those in my vlog. But I am glad that you watched this video to the end. Hopefully you laughed, hopefully you learned one thing that's soon. Always love to entertain and educate at the same time. Make sure you stick around because I'm gonna link two videos for you that you can choose from to watch after you watch this one. I am always glad that you're here watching my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.